Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Daniel Garcia. Elohim's one. And uh, thank you for watching. And I know the lighting is bad, but I hope the audio is good. I'm in a parking lot. Whataburger. One of my uh, last nemesis. <laughs> Fast food. It's so good so bad and don't send me any comments about how bad it is for you daniel you know there is morgellons disease in that food there don't you uh, i trust in yahweh my savior that doesn't mean i blindly run through them <laughs> blindly run amok and do whatever the heck i want I am uh, very cautious and I try to be cautious and I very rarely eat fast food, but I got a fast food card gift certificate for Christmas, that pagan holiday that people celebrate, better known as Saturnalia, but I won't go there because if you don't already know, then you don't know. This video is about, well, I wasn't going to plan on making this video, but here we are, right? And I'll start it by saying a, a, a prayer. Uh, Heavenly Father, creator of all things, creator of me, creator of my spirit, creator of my soul, creator of all that is seen and unseen. Yahweh, Y-H-V-H, the Instagrammaton. Through your son and by your son's mighty power, Yeshua, given to me upon this earth, given dominion upon to me upon this earth over other things that are on this earth that try to have dominion over me. I take control in your mighty son's name, Yeshua. And if you want to call him something else, that's up to you. Anyway, uh, so recently there's been some news reports about stars vanishing from the sky. Twilight Zone stuff, right? Well, there's a few verses in the Bible that talk about these things. Uh, falling stars, stars uh, coming down upon the earth, and men's hearts failing them due to fear of such things. But there's nothing to fear if you are in the Lord and the Lord is in you. Forgive me if I look around every once in a while. Make sure no one's trying to sneak up on me. Even though I have 9 millimeter ways to deal with that. Uh, this is Isaiah 34. And this is the Bible that I keep in my car. So look how tiny it is. Uh, you can imagine the print is even more so. So uh, Isaiah 34, I believe it's 34, 14. Hey. Uh, oh boy, I better not try to read these. I don't have a magnifying glass. Or eyewear. Yeah. Um, let's see. Sorry for the long pauses. I'm not going to edit this video, but... Somewhere here in Isaiah 34, it talks about the stars and the sky rolling up like a scroll, etc., etc. If you know the Bible, you know the verses. Also in Matthew 24, he speaks upon the same things. And um, geez, I apologize for not being more well prepared but it's time to make the video when it's time to make the video it's time to make the video also in revelation i believe six off the cuff sorry about that guys um uh geez so 100 stars have disappeared so what what science is telling us is that um there's a, a vanishing and appearing sources during a century of observation, VASCO, V-A-S-C-O, this group has done that. They have, uh, they are studying, what they've done is they took images, they looked at images that NASA took 50 years ago plus, 
uh, you know, give or take a few years, 50 years ago. And they um, have uh, compared those to satellite images or telescopic images, whatever they use to look at the stars. Now, they are uh, comparing the two. So it's like an over overlay. So you take one picture that, you know, they took 50 years ago excuse me, and uh, a picture that is recent, and they overlay it, and they're, or they side-by-side -side compare it, and I'll put the links in the video to some of these websites, and they say, oh, look at some stars are missing. Well, what are the stars? In my opinion, the stars are luminaries. What is a, lumin what is a luminary? A, a luminary is an angel, an angelic being, something appointed to look over. Now, if you don't believe in the Book of Enoch, I think you should start looking into that. Just because it's not in our modern-day Bible doesn't mean it's not true. What it means is that the Vatican, who was overseeing at the time, this is the young Vatican at the time, the beginning of what we now call the papal supremacy that rules over this catholic false religion i mean why would god give the romans who crucified his son a religion in the name of peter i shall build my rock upon you i shall build my church upon you the rock well not too many people are in that church nowadays are they the vatican is a lie i digress i'm getting off track here all right, so <clears throat> um, Vasco, vanishing and appearing sources during a century of observations. So they take these uh, pictures, observations that they've had for so long mm, um, of the stars. Okay, now what they found are 150,000 anomalies. 150,000 now. They've done, and, and in, in these stories, in these links, they, they tell you how they've gone back and forth and they've reduced these and, uh, the, you know, uh, they give so many away to, uh, okay, maybe it was this or maybe it was a Dyson sphere, you know, whoa, a Dyson sphere, really? 150,000 anomalies? That means 150,000 differentiations between what they took in the picture they took back then. It's, uh, I'm looking at my notes here, um, a century, a hundred years of observation. If we've been looking and we've been charting the stars a hundred years and we've only, and we found 150,000 anomalies. I don't know. I, I, I digress. I, Sometimes my mind just goes ahead of my mouth, and I'm sorry about that. Sometimes my mouth uh, is the exhaust of my mind. Um, all right. There's over 600 million celestial objects that are observed and recognized by the United States Naval Observatory Observational Catalog. 600 million. 150,000 anomalies, 100 missing stars. What are these missing stars? Okay, first, if you go by my, and you know, backtrack into what I was saying earlier, uh, what I believe stars are. Stars, to me, are illuminaries. That's what the Bible tells us. Luminaries, that they are guides. They are up above, and they are set up above us to watch over us. And that's, um, you know, the 200 fallen angels, um, Azazel, that uh, they fell and uh, had, uh, they mated with women, basically, whether it was physically having sex or if they DNA mutated like we are doing today with animals and every other thing that's on the earth. We're mixing DNA, trying to create different plants, different animals. Um, however they did it, they did it um, at that time. There were 200 that uh, defied God's rule, God's law, that told them not to do it, and they did it anyway. What the hell is that all about, right? So these stars that have fallen... Um, they are luminaries. They are the watchers. They are the ones that were appointed to watch over us and to guide us. And I got to turn my light back on. 
<clears throat> um, I've already gone 10 minutes in this video. It's way too much. And I'm blabber, blathering, and I apologize for that, for repeating myself. Um, like I said, I have uh, no study notes, no research, just a couple of lines here. Um, so I wouldn't forget some of the facts. I'll post everything in the video here below. What are these hundred stars that are missing? Are they missing physically? Is God actually rolling back the skies? What is going on? If you have any ideas, if you have any comments, suggestions, whatever, um, please leave a comment. Um, I love interacting with you guys. I probably sound like a D-bag when I do interact with you. I apologize for that. I'm not a wordsmith when it comes to that stuff. Um, it takes me 20 minutes to reply to one of your comments sometimes because I overthink stuff. And I also, um, I love you guys because we together stand against the enemy. And I love everyone who is on my side. That makes us stronger. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I pray for you in Yeshua's name, our Savior. Wow, what a powerful name. All knees will bow. That's right. I keep pounding my steering wheel because it sounds cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, don't, rem for don't forget. Put on the armor of God. I forget myself, and this is a reminder. Um, put on the armor of God. Put, on, put it on physically. Whenever you pray, every day, every morning, whenever you remember, and I pray that you remember often, repel those fiery darts. Hey, listen, also, hey, I, you know, we could be coming to the end right now. We could be in the last days. Everything is lining up. But it's not the first time it's lined up, is it? So, be smart, be prepared. Check things out for yourself, okay? Don't just take any man's word for it, this man or any other man. Don't trust in anyone but yourself, Yahweh, and Yeshua, his son. Put on the full armor of God. All praise be to Yahweh, our Savior, Yeshua, HaMashiach, the Anointed One. Talk to you later.